On the evening of Friday, September 25th, the Lake Orion Dragons finally took to the field to host the Oak Park Knights for Lake Orion's first game of the COVID-delayed 2020 season. The Dragons were supposed to kick off the season against their crosstown rivals, the Oxford Wildcats, the previous week, but a positive COVID test forced the cancellation of that game. The Dragons seemed eager to finally play some football despite the sparse, socially distanced crowd. Oak Park's first drive resulted in a punt, which was fielded by Cade Manzo and returned to the Knights' 34-yard line to begin Lake Orion's first drive of the season. On first and 10 on Oak Park's 19, Kyler Carson is in shotgun. He takes the snap, hands off to A.J. Muzon, who finds a gap and goes the distance. The Dragons strike first, and with the PAT, the score is 7-0, with 7.04 left in the first quarter. An Andy Bryant field goal in the second quarter made the score 10-0 in favor of the Dragons. Then with Oak Park facing a daunting fourth and 36, they're forced to punt from their own 17. Cade Manzo fields it at the 45, dodges would-be tacklers and goes all the way, diving into the end zone for the score. The point after was good and the Dragons extend their lead to 17-0 with 5.39 left in the first half. Later in the second quarter, Oak Park is facing a second and seven from their own 35 when quarterback James Burnley is picked off at midfield by Brennan Jones, who returns it to the 14-yard line. On second and goal from the one with Dom Bruno under center, he hands the ball off to Nasir Lardell, who goes into the end zone for the score. The Dragons find themselves on top 24-0 as the first half comes to an end. The fourth quarter began with the Dragons threatening to score from Oak Park's seven-yard line. On third and goal from the one, Drew Knieper is in shotgun. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, and finds the end zone to extend Lake Orion's lead, 31-0, with 10.35 left in the game. Hoping to avoid a shutout, the Knights begin a drive on their own 23. On first and 10, Davion Prim takes the handoff, and he is gone. Prim goes 77 yards into the end zone for Oak Park's first score of the game. The PAT was no good and the score is 31-6 Lake Orion. With five minutes left in the game, Lake Orion managed to tack on one more score when Bruno handed off to Brendan Hastings at the goal line. The extra point was good and the Dragons walk away with a 38-6 win over the Knights. We caught up with head coach John Blackstock after the game. I've said I love this team. The, what they've been through since March 13th and the up and down roller coaster and how they have, uh, have really hung together. And I think going through that has actually pulled them together. We were uh, concerned about leadership going into this year because losing a great senior class last year with outstanding leaders. Uh, and our senior class during that whole stay at home order really let us, you know, in our small group challenges that we had. and. Um, They've brought this team together and answered a lot of questions. All your quarterbacks played tonight. I yeah. think that was another goal you wanted to get. Absolutely. And you had a real good rotation at running back tonight. Yeah, you know, and we've known that that's probably going to be by committee until one of those guys just, you know, flat out wins it. But uh, we like the committee aspect of it too because all those guys bring a little different uh, strengths to the table. And, and same thing with the quarterbacks. I can't say enough about those three kids. You know, Don Bruno and Kyler Carson and Andrew Knieper uh, handling probably a really tough situation for a, a 16, 17 year old kid and handling it just like champions of, of really rooting for each other uh, and, and making the most of their opportunities. So they uh, continue to make it tough on us as coaches. Defense played well. Joey yeah. Thede had a lot of big plays tonight. Talk about your defense. Yeah, you know, uh, for her defense to, to hold those guys to six, I mean, you saw on the one touchdown, the ability that they've got. You know, when they get loose, they're gone. We, we can't match that speed. So we've just really got to play great team defense and have great run fits and, and work together to keep that ball corralled in. And, uh, and they did that. You know, hats off to our defensive staff also with Rick Powell and Brian Gannon and Troy Anderley and Jamie Witt of, you know, coming up with a really sound game plan and then the kids executing it. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.